that's my favorite song. Oh, I know this song. Always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. I don't know if I know this guy. Be beautiful and stay forever young. This I know. Wow. This, this I, I know. know. She told me don't worry. I love this song. Love it. She told me don't worry. Beautiful. No more. Man. We both know He's we way up there. I don't like his hair, but I like this song. He, told me you'll never he can really sing. Glass of wine. I love it. I'd be dancing. And I know she'll be the death of me. At least we'll both This is a very pessimistic song. Get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. Well, I like that lyric. She'll get the best of me, and the worst is yet to come. Hallelujah, brother. I know. We both know we can't go without it. She told me you never. You should stop smoking, sir. Oh, I like that. I like this. I don't like that. Is he really burning? I just hope people know this isn't real. Can't feel your face because it's on fire. It's really nice. I really, really like it. Something different. Wow. Oh, and then the film melts. Oh, that's great. I kind of like that. Good job, young man. Good job. Uh-oh. He likes to be in trouble. First on fire, not an accident. You know, I've never seen this, but I know this song because my grandkids love this. Is that his hair or a hat? Oh dear. Oh, oh, you turn your back on her? You want to pick up your girl? Wow. That voice is just beautiful. I like this artist. Oops, he dropped the F bomb. Oh, fire. Likes fire. I hope he has insurance. It's got a very haunting melody. I like that. So, sounds a little sad, the words, huh? Oh, I like this house. I don't know the artist. I don't know who produced it, but they're both did a damn good job. Guy with a lot of talent, but uh, once again, lyrics suck. Oh my goodness. Well, who are these people? Is it a brothel? That's the same guy that was in the club. Oh, the same guy with the lighter. I don't understand, honestly. I saw him on one of the award shows, but I don't know what his name is. All right, so are you familiar with either of those songs or who the artist is? No. No. Not at all. Never heard either of the songs before, and I like both of them. Yes. Yes. I hear it a lot on the on the radio. I think I heard of, uh, of this guy. He's fairly new. All of a sudden, he's got, gotten so popular. He goes by the stage name The Weeknd. Okay. Why do you think he calls himself The Weeknd? I have no idea. Because that means having fun? Flings or passions or ladies are just a weekend thing for him. Because it's time to party. But then look what happens when you party too hard. So he has said that he had a bit of a rough upbringing and that he dropped that of school when he was 17 years old. Oh dear. And he chose the name The Weeknd because he left one weekend and never came home. Oh wow. Oh that's sad. What do you think about that now seeing how he's made it in music from that upbringing? You know I love to hear success stories. It turned out to be a very good weekend. As hard as it was and as scary as it might have been, look what's happened. It shows you that people can pull themselves up. It doesn't matter if they've had a tough beginning. I don't believe it's true. He probably made it up or his manager, or his agent, I don't know. This guy, to me, has a conscience. He was gifted with some good moral concepts, and he wants to tell the world. And what did you think of the music itself? No, the music is good. He's got a nice voice, but it's like, musically, that's not exactly challenging. It kind of made me sad that he just, se it seemed so negative and pessimistic. The music was nice, I liked it. For some reason, at my age, I like it. Yeah, I kind of like this because it's not what you're typically hearing nowadays. You know what I think? You guys are always gonna show me some crappy music again. But 
The music that I saw just now, I think it's tremendously creative. I, I give that guy a lot of credit. He often uses vulgar and dark lyrics about pain and drugs and sex, but juxtaposes that with very elegant melodic music. What do you think about that? Well, he's still you said he's still being vulgar. Just because he slows it down and, and puts an R&B beat to it, it's still vulgar. Sometimes when you hear really unpleasant lyrics with unpleasant music, you go, oh, this is awful. Whereas this, you don't know whether to go, oh yeah, I like this, or oof, I hate this. That could be his creative process. It's like, you think it's gonna be all cutesy, and then he comes in with that. So it's actually, it's pretty much genius. We get tired of that sort of, you know, up in your face, real aggressive stuff, you know. I think maybe you get the message across even better this way. So The weekend started out getting a following with tracks he released online himself, and now years later, both of these songs went to number one on the charts and even were in the top five at the same time. Wow. Something only Elvis, The Beatles, and a dozen more artists have ever done. Why do you think this artist has gotten that popular? Well, because he's presenting something that uh, appeals to people. Anybody coming up from, from, from hard times, we kind of root for that. That's, that's the American dream. This guy has been touched by some creative source out there, and he really felt the pulse of what young people wanted to hear. Maybe the uniqueness of it? Maybe the fact that it is different, maybe for older people it evokes memories of something else. Do you keep up at all with music of today compared to when you were younger? No. I really don't. No, not at all. I just have uh, new priorities. No. I think it changed probably a lot for me when I became a parent. No, I'm embarrassed. But I'm, oh, I try to be open-minded about things as opposed to just going, oh, I don't like today's music, it's all so awful. I have pondered that many times. I've thought, is it hearing loss or is it just not what my ear is used to and I'm being very, old lady-ish and won't listen to something new. But every once in a while, there's somebody that comes, like this guy, what's it, The Weeknd. Now, I would buy that CD. So last question, now that you've gotten more familiar with one of the most popular artists in modern music right now, do you think you would want to listen to more of his work? You know what? Not really. I'd like to see him when he cleans up his act. If he changes his hairdo. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I know all the bad things that are around. I don't know if I want to sit and listen to music about it. Oh, definitely, yes. Yes. Amazing voice, beautiful voice. I definitely will, especially since she told me what his background was. I admire him. I'm going to talk to my grandchildren about this guy and learn more about him. Very strongly hit me, very strongly. This guy may be a young genius. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Elders React. If you want to know when we have new videos, all you have to do is hit subscribe. Help support the show by sending this out to all your friends and family. I've already seen it, so <laughs> you don't have to include me. May all your weekends be filled with peace and joy and good times.